Hello. Welcome. Ores for me. Orans for me. More orans for me. The Grand Triple. We've read that one. The feudal society and its enemies. From the annals of Mahakaman history. Dwarves are one of the elder races, stocky and bearded. Wait, are there female dwarves? <laughs> With strongly built bodies and low voices, they are distinguished for their height, which is lower than human. Of simple and direct manners, they are sometimes seen as grumpy, unkind, and greedy. I have to stress that my own opinion of the dwarves is by no means similar to the latter part. I only cite it here to present the views of other people, even if they are dull-minded. Hate blinded buffoons. Mahakam is the dwarves' mountainous homeland, famed for its numerous mines where precious stones and ores are mined. Many dwarves also live in human cities, for that race usually adapts to new neighbors easily, something that cannot be, unfortunately, said about a large part of humanity. Despite vexations, persecution, and even bloody pogroms, the coexistence with dwarves goes a lot better than with elves. Their flair for trade and craft. Makes them excellent merchants, bankers, smiths, armorers. Ah, so you can't really just group dwarves and elves under non-human then, if the relations are different. Yeah, that's right. So far, non-humans that we've seen who are against Escoetel, people like Zoltan and the banker Vivaldi, those people were all dwarves. But if you think about it, like elves, doesn't seem like there's as many elves against Escoetel. Scoyatel is a name used by the rebels fighting for non-human freedom. In the common tongue, it means squirrels. As some would have it, it is because of squirrel tails that adorn the rebels' caps, or from the forest board they had to survive on. Scoyatel formed units under a score strong, consisting mainly of elves. Yet sometimes dwarves and halflings joined too. During the last war against Nilfgaard, the Scoyatel fought on the side of the empire, making diversions and great damage beyond our lines. Despite the provisions of the Peace of Sintra, many did not disarm and continued to fight, especially when it turned out that Nilfgaard sacrificed them in the name of peace and gave the units as leaders to the Nordlings to be executed. So the war with Nilfgaard might be over, but not with the Scoyatel. No. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read, much about you in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community. You were the guy that I could roll dice with. Oh! What? What? We can change hair? <gasps> oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevel purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus... A very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. Oh, well, that's, that's very kind of her. The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorveth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. 
She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Hmm, Moral, that's... That's the... The lady that Cedric was talking about before, I think. Let's roll some dice. I want to play dice. Alright, shall we? I didn't save. Well, I better win the first time around then. Oh god, god. Okay, okay. Light roll. Uh, a pair. <laughs> Two pairs. Okay, well, uh, we haven't lost yet. No, not yet. Although it's looking kind of grim. No! Oh. Oh! Hey! Yes! 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 I'm lost! Yes! Hand over the coin. Here. But I'll not play you anymore. So, who is up for a game around here? Sandler's the best. Oh, Sandler. We'll see. The craftsman. Yes! Yes, save right now. Thank you. Oh, pull in one. Nonsense. He's running away from me now, cause I, <laughs> cause I stole his money. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. Oh, okay. What do you have to trade? Drowners, a textbook for initiates of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, so it shows which books I have already, which is nice. Holy, there's a lot. Um, do I have to be concerned with stuff like the bestiary again? Describes witchers. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm a little bit hesitant to buy a book because the cost could add up. And I don't know which ones are the ones that really... we need it. Oh! All available knowledge on the Karens. I feel like we should have this one. 250 orins! Okay, that's how you know the book is useful, because it actually costs money. <laughs> Pontar Valley? The Temerian Royal Dynasty. Yeah, the rest of them, they just cost, like... nothing? So I think we don't need to have the other ones for now. Oh, Wraiths? Fear and Trembling. Three years among the Andregas. We don't need this anymore because we already got knowledge from fighting the Andregas firsthand. Fultist's daughter. The realms of Northling. Okay, I'm gonna get the Wraith one too, just because this one looks expensive, so. Yeah, let's be learned. We can be scholarly. Books? The Karen. Can I sell it back to you? For 11 orange. I bought it for- <laughs> I bought it from you for 250. I sell it back for 11. Hold on. I'm not selling it here. Let's uh, get it's out of the screen. It's not too late to repent. Am I a sinner? Where is it? Hold up. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. The Karen, a monograph. The Karen stands apart among all creatures large and small, beautiful and horrible. It is unique, unlike any other being. Doubtless, it is a post-conjunction creature that appeared in our reality in the time when the worlds intermingled. That sounds Lovecraftian. It made its home in the waters of the Pontar, where it lives to this day. Over the ages, the Chronicles mention several instances of the Cairn appearing on the river's surface in various places. There is no certainty if these mentions apply to one and the same creature, slowly moving up or down river, or to the original creature's progeny seen here and there. Progeny? Oh my god, I might be having kids. That's not good. Wraiths! Fear and trembling. Wraiths are not, as some claim, the outward manifestations of an inner fear. They are visible, tangible, and dangerous on top of that. According to the teachings of the priests, those who died suddenly without completing their tasks in this veil of tears become such specters. Wraiths have their own aims. Sometimes they remain unaware of them, but more often than not, they pursue their calling without the slightest regard for the living. Not any concrete information on how to fight wraiths? Yeah, and we got no pop-ups, so maybe that was just a nice read. Oh, even the Karen one didn't really help me. That's kind of sad. A candlestick. It's mine now. Yeah, taking all your stuff. Dwarven enhancement. Orins. 11 orins. Okay. Careful with those swords. Yes. The gods have no love for your kind. 
You know this place is owned by a dwarf, right? Why are you being so rude? Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. Okay, I'm gonna just sell back the junk that I just picked up. The silver candlestick. Is that it? We also had some armor here. Yeah, this one we don't need it. Weapons, dwarven hammer, stun plus 15%. Actually, sounds like it could be good, but no. Okay, thank you. Careful thank you. with those swords. It was nice to meet you. Where am I again? Yes, I'm here. Um, yes, I was gonna go to Lubinden, right? This is what is this? Nothing. Okay, we're back in town square. So if we go here, it'll be Lubinden again. Yeah. Yeah, this way was much closer. The first time I went over there, I went the long way. Ooh. Attention, monsters. Oh my god, that guy's arm. Doesn't seem like he's having a good time. Back here? Well, if we're here anyway, we can go find Sendler. See if he wants to fight me. Oh, Shorab. What are you guys doing here? <gasps> Any chance you'll stay in Lobbenden for good, with you? Any chance you'll stay in Lobbenden for good, with you? <laughs> hey ho! <laughs> Sendler was... I don't remember which house he was in. I think it was one over here? No, this is the herb lady's house, right? I think so. Well, what's that green dot over here? Is it you? Let's go kill some monsters! Oh, my daddy's my a soldier. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop annoying me, mother. Nothing but work in the tavern. <laughs> you should settle down. Find a woman. Leave me alone, mother. Can't you see I've work to do? And what good will it do you, son? You'll sail and never return. Wow. Leave me all alone. <laughs> mother! Like father, like son. Fools are both of yous. Ah, sail to your ruin. Oh, this guy's dad is probably dead at sea. Oh, my damn sacrum. Aching and thumping. I think this is Sendler's house? It's one with the crafting symbol on it. I remember that much. Doggy? Yes! Hey, Sandler. I'm gonna, gonna save. <laughs> what?! See ya! Oh! It's right here! Okay, in that case, uh, let's roll dice first. I'd like to play dice. Shall we play now? What if we make him mad and he doesn't want to play dice with me ever again? Can't have that happening. Dice poker is serious business. Oh, I got nothing! Wait, one, two, three, four, five. That's something, right? They don't tell me anymore, so I don't know. I think that's something. One, two, three, four, five. This better be right. Am I? Is that really not anything? God damn it. You're just not good enough for Sendler. Come back and see me if you want to lose more coin. Oh, I will. Right now, right now. I'd like to play that. Shall we? Okay, okay. Note to self, one, two, three, four, five is not anything. Yes, he's an idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, now's a good chance for us. We have one pair. But that's it. He has nothing. He has nothing and is missing a dice. That's really good for me. Come on. We can do this. Yeah. Got nothing. This is bo- Oh my- What? What? This is for real! This is for- Oh. Okay, 
Come on, come on, he's not that good, okay? He's such an amateur. He rolls his dice outside the board. One, two, three. Come on, you gotta give it to me this time, right? Please. Yes! Yes! You're good. Here's your coin. Yeah, get the hell out of here. I don't want traps. Give me money. Thanks. <laughs> Might have been bad, because he... I don't even use traps that much anyway, though. Maybe we should look at that again. Oh, but it depends on my... Yeah, it depends on my uh, diagrams, too. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Cool. Poker face, plot some, complete it. Now, let's talk about the real thing here. Where do you get that head? I bought it. Cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. No one else in Lobinden's got a troll's head. Who do you buy it from? Dimitri. Who else would dare trap a troll in its very own den? Where can I find this Dimitri? That I don't know, but you'll find his mates carousing at the inn in the evening. We've heard of Dimitri before. Earlier, the guard talking to Milena, he was like, You should have stayed with Dimitri, you whore, or whatever. Um... How much? And do I want that? Does the troll want that? I'd like to buy that head from you. No way! The head's mine, you smelly swine. I'll give you a good price, unless you'd prefer to trade. Hmm. We could roll some dice for it, provided you make it worth my while. Thanks. That was helpful. D do you wanna... Dang it, I should have freaking rolled the dice afterwards. But it probably wouldn't have counted anyway. Uh, are you actually serious? Because this looks like the normal dice screen. I got... Hey, I got pretty good. Yeah, one pair and then two, or uh, one, three... Threes? He's got... one pair. We're fine, I think. Scare him. Yes! You're good. Here's your coin. I want the she-troll's head. I got it. I got it. Oh, what the... Oh... Why do we have a tongue too? I don't feel good about this. Is that all I wanted from you? Pretty much. See ya! So you're saying that troll's head was worth like 15 orins. That's horrible. Anything else we gotta do around here? This dot is... Okay. Okay, so we can go back to the inn to find Dimitri's people for the troll head quest. Anything else we can do around here? Yes, Dimitri's men hangs around the inn. Geralt headed for Flotsam. Bring it on. Arm wrestling. Oh, there's more people arm wrestling at the inn. Okay, so we'll do that when we go back to the inn as well. Okay. Um, where is Ostmerk again? Yeah, let's just go back into the forest now. What about the Andrega contract too? Andrega cocoons? Wh where is any of this stuff? Where are the Andrega cocoons? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, well, maybe it's just time for us to walk down into the forest and hope something good happens. Sure, sure. We will head... Uh, we can find... Mm. Osmerk. Elven Ruins. It's kind of a hassle to, like, keep flipping between the, the tabs like this, but okay. So we have this now. We'll head towards this one. And then we'll go to the ruined mansion, which is somewhere here, I think. Okay, sounds good. And the way out of here is, I think... Uh, here? No, 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 I think it's uh, around. There's nobody else I have to talk to around here, right? Not for now anyway. I don't think so. Do I want to go give the head to the troll right now, or... Let's wait until later. Yeah, because we probably have to make more than one trip for this business. 
if we're looking for Ozmerk. Apparently we should be going this way. Oh. Something here? Yeah. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't even see that guy walking towards me! What the hell? Uh... Hello? Damn it. And Drega Warrior. We're good for now. I remapped my keys and I forgot what key I put parrying on. I gotta go like... Okay, I got it. Oh, it's really far from the keyboard. I gotta redo this again later on. Okay. Something's still here. You can hear it. Yeah. Oh! I forgot about stabbing the back. What? Is that? <laughs> okay. Not sure what that... Not sure what's going on there, but yeah. If we do this... Circle of Vigor. There's also another circle here. So these red spots, they give me stats. I guess it's always a good thing for me to walk into them if we find them. Oh, there's a trap here! Did I walk in it earlier? I don't even... This arm trap. Collect it. Thank you. And... Okay, we got a little bit distracted here. But... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, just you? Ouch! Oh, we got like poisoned or something. Hmm. There's more. Oh, the forests are so dangerous. It's kind of hard to just traverse through them. Holy god. It's doing that weird like... Oh, put the back! No! Does that count as the back? Does that count as the back? Yes. Thank you. Hopefully the stuff we're picking up here, we can use it for crafting later. Oh! Oh, are you kidding? I walked right into that one. Gotta remember, there's still a lot of traps here. Thank God we got that circle of vigor thing. Without some sort of health regeneration, it's actually really, really easy to die, cause... Well, cause I suck. <laughs> so I really have to like watch out for these circles, or take swallow potions. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, that really scared me. What is this? Just a random statue, or...? Circle of Vigor. Right in front of here. Wow. I guess so. It's kind of scary how the, the land is red right in front of it, though. Oh! Wow! I... I'm not gonna learn. I'm just saying. Like, tch, that's going to be an ongoing thing, and that's just the way it's gonna be. Okay, that's a herb. It's a herb. Not what we're looking for, though. We're going this way for the Osmark. Blood? Lots of blood around this area in general. How Whoa! many more can there be? They come out of the ground? Oh, hey, what? Oh. H hello? Oh! What? Stay, stay! <laughs> Why are you all just. Okay, yeah, let's just get something going here. Oh! I think I'm like walking out of the area that they walk around in or something. They keep going in and out. That guy keeps leaving. Again, good thing I have the circle of vigor. Although it's not even really helping all that much here. Because I'm losing health too quickly. Whoa! Whoa! 
warrior. Oh, if we're seeing Necros here, I think that means we might be close to the tunnel entrance, right? Because otherwise, why would there be so many here? So maybe we should be looking around for signs of something. Tunnel entrances? Yeah, so maybe we should be looking for a hole? A hole in the ground? Seems like, to me, they don't really need a hole though. They just come out of the ground directly. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. The mound here. Destroy nest. Got to blow up this nest. Like what, with a bomb? That's why they keep coming out. Okay, a bomb. Any bomb? Do I have some crappy bombs? They'll say bomb on it, right? If it's a bomb. Stuns and freezes opponents. Oh, I only have one bomb here. Okay, whatever. It's not like I use them that much anyway. Here. <laughs> of all the bombs, I think that was the one bomb that doesn't work on this. Got to blow up this nest. Okay. Ooh, can I make a bomb right now or do you have a requirement on what bomb you want me to use? Probably not a good idea to meditate right outside the entrance of that thing. Alchemy. Bomb. So I look for one that says bomb? Is that what I do? Bomb! Dancing star! Oh, I used it already earlier. That's the thing. <laughs> Any other bombs? I mean, I could just... Dancing star? Oh. This ingredient, I don't have too much of it. That's what I'm worried about. Ah, uh, I don't want to use the troll tongue for it, no. Let's just make this. This one? One for now. Just so I can test out if it's really what I need to be using here to do this. Explodes with fire. Okay, this one should work. It should. Right there. Uh... Am I not doing this right? It just seems like they're not really, uh... Got to blow up this nest. Okay. Hold on. Is there another bomb I should be using? Or, like, what am I trying to do here? No, let's try... Let's try looking to the, the contract again. If he could find and destroy all the entrances to these tunnels, most of the Neckers would be buried alive. Those remaining would then likely scatter, making it all the easier to exterminate them. Okay. I'm clearly not using the right bomb here or something. Not sure what I need to be doing. Do I... Can I do this right now? Maybe I need to like find a book first? I don't know. I don't know. Looking for diagrams, crafting diagrams. Potions, these are all potions. Do I have a bomb that says... Bury everyone alive? Or something like that? No, I don't think so. Maybe we just don't have the right bomb. I'll remember the location. So it's next to the tree, by the river here, but uh, otherwise, not something I can do too much about just now. Which is a shame, that's okay. We'll just continue on to find the Osmer. It's gonna be annoying though, because if we don't bury the entrance, they're gonna keep... Ooh. Those Neckers are gonna keep coming out. Forever. So we should really figure that one out ASAP. Osmer! Whoa! What happened to you? Just the forest being dangerous in general, or...? There's my Osmer. Whoa. Scary.
You can hear things. Something's here. Oh. Damn it. At least it's just a necker. Could be worse. Could be so much worse. They sound really scary, though. They're kind of like the drowners of this game, huh? In terms of their frequency. But, yeah, they definitely sound a lot scarier. These strong strikes don't seem to work against it. Oh, wow, there's one from behind! Oh, maybe I should have taken a, a swallow potion here. Gotta be careful. Oh god, there's so many! I want to move ahead, but I don't want to move ahead and have them chase me the whole time. Which will make it so that 20 million of them are following me later on. Oh my god. Let's go! We're not done yet! Really? Oh, there's more! There's more. Are we even in the right place right now? Damn well better be. <laughs> Can't tell, though. I'll, um... Oh god, there's... There's so many! I don't know where I'm going! But I'm trying to see if I can just outwalk them or something. What is this place? There's too many, there's too many. Oh, I'm not focusing on them enough. I keep hitting them, like, a little bit. Which is really not good in terms of not getting surrounded. Okay, we're good for now, but I have no idea where we are. No idea. I mean, I guess we just keep going down? If we keep going down, that means I should be going this way, right? Okay. I don't think so. That's not what that meant. Nope. It's forking. There's more ways I can go down. Here. Left or right? Right is apparently a dead end. With a dead person, but a male enhancement. This side. Good thing I have that circle of health or whatever. Otherwise, I think I would be dead right now! Die. What is that? Greater Rot Fiend? Oh, okay, it's gonna run away, so we gotta like... Juke it! Just juke it. Come on. Is he dodging it, or am I just missing? Oh! I think he's guarding the Osmer. Oh, he's smart. He has his back to the wall. It's okay. One on one. One on one, I feel much better. Just come over here. Unexpected. Necrophage Teeth. Greater Rot Fiend. And there it is, Osmurk. Oh, that was... That was kind of scary. And I think we're done here. Good, good. There's only one little piece of Osmurk going after going through this entire cave. It's pretty rare. No, nothing here. Okay. 
Good, good. We're making progress again. I'm feeling better already. No, we looted that guy already. And all we gotta do now is walk back out north. Which means... Or actually, what's the next step on this quest? Geralt found some Osmark. Do I have to make the potion? Do I have to make it? Do I have the formula? Mongoose. But none of this is the Osmark. <laughs> oh, oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go for it. As long as I don't accidentally use it up later on. Why did we need this again? Provides protection from the Karen's toxic mucus. Resistance to poisoning. Two, 20,000%. 20,000. Hopefully that's good enough for us. Drink the potion just before fighting the Karen. Okay, so I think we are... We're okay now. Oh, find some Osmark or go with Sheila to fight the Karen. Does that mean that if I didn't find the Osmark, I could have just gone with Sheila and that would have been okay too? Oh. Robust, well-balanced dagger. Oh. Well, I mean, I would like the help. But I thought she was gonna help me either way anyway. Take that. Because I thought we were doing this whole thing together. I mean, that's the whole point of why I haggled with that guy to pay us double, right? Oh, there's a lot. How's my weight doing? 185? Not bad. Okay. Let's get out. I don't like this place. Oh, I gotta go around. Okay, so the Osmer thing is done. Safely hidden in the Witcher's bag in anticipation of the fight with the Karen. The next thing that's close to here is the Claws of Madness, the ruined mansion, where... Cedric told me about two men who went to a ruined mansion and they went missing. And it was a place where the mentally ill had once been kept. Ooh, spooky spooky. That means... Hmm... If there are dead bodies there, we might see stuff like ghouls and whatnot there. Because I'm definitely expecting to see monsters. There's no way there's no monsters there. Oh, yeah, that's used up already. People have been stepping into the traps when I'm not looking. Okay, the ruined... Mansion is right there. The bridge is broken over here. Anything else of interest in the forest? Not based on the map, but I wonder about this house a little bit. How do we get across anyway? Oh, we gotta fix the bridge first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? Statue? It's right in front of us. Okay, one sec. Whoa, there's a lot. Guard! This guy looks super armored. He is super armored. Do the thing where you charge at me. What the heck? What's, go what's going on here? Am I wandering too far away? They want me to stay in the one area or something? Oh, no, 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 no. This arm. Yeah, it just seems like they instantly despawn when I walk out of the area, but every time I see a monster, the first thing I like doing is walking backwards because I don't want to walk into the danger. I want to walk away from it. <sighs> I just had to do that, right as I was saying, I don't like walking into the danger. Huh. God damn it. Oh my god. Here? Actually, if you look at the combat log, trap deals damage zero. So I don't think it was actually hurting me, huh? Ooh! What is this place? Was someone living here? Someone's... someone's den. 
Oh. How do I get over there? We're kind of close, but not close enough. I don't know where I'm going at all. I feel like we're not going the right way. Oh. It's broken here. Can we get across? No? No, we're not even going the right direction right now. If we want to go that way, we probably have to follow the road here. The faint little white line. Here? Whoa. Oh, that leaf. Oh! Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me the two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb baking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but... There was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Something approaches. I wonder how many more will turn up. Neckers? Crazed the necker. Uh, guy, you might want to move out of here. It's quite dangerous. That guy's gonna die, seriously. Oh! I'm stuck, I'm stuck here. These might be the mental... The people from the hospital. Because they were mentally ill and they got turned into a necker? Oh my god. Find my companion, I beg you. Find my companion, I beg you. Is there payment for this? Because it's quite dangerous, you know. Oh, my health. My health. This is probably a good time for me to take a potion. We don't have the circle of vigor here to help me out. Drink the swallow potion. I think that's it. That's all we need for now. Okay. Let's go. By the way, the armor I'm wearing, is that? Okay, no. I thought I was wearing the raven armor again, because that little the little red book. Okay, whatever. What's going on here? God, are you kidding me? Good. Circle of power. Something's going on here. Uh-oh. Oh, they just tore up the dog. Don't think we could have saved it, though, judging by how it died right when I got near. <laughs> oh. Oh no! No! No dead dogs, please. Ooh, we got a Necker trophy from this. What is this? Two Necker trophies. Are they actually worth anything? We can get doubles? Where? Here? That's scary. It's really scary. I hear the bats. They should not have done it. Oh! Rather than those here they were. Oh, the green! Find the specter in the next room. Whoa! Whoa! There's actually a ghost here! Hold on... Oh, I need those. Sleroderm? They're really good for making swallow potions. 
Uh oh. Are we fighting in here? Hospital files. Defeat the rates. Okay, we can read them later. We can read. Oh, we just read a thing about rates too. Take that. What did I? I think I made a. Oh, a quen sign, which didn't really help me, but that's okay. Ah! Not two at a time. Not two at. <laughs> Holy. Holy God! Okay, I had the swallow potion that time, but like, how do you... Ooh! I find that when you have more than one creature, it's so difficult to fight them. That I don't even know how to... I can lay down some traps, but that would be something I'm doing because I've already done this part once and I failed, and I know that they come out here. Not something I can really do beforehand, so... I mean, we can do it, but... It's just that, like, oh God. God, I gotta be really... Careful. Hospital files. Okay, you walk into the trap. It's good. You most certainly are not. Nobody's ever too old to die. Let's focus on one, if we can. What is it? Actual specters. What's it carrying? Oh. Okay, we're doing okay this time. Okay ish. He's dodging me. Oh, the guy's stuck here. Oh. Hey, my trap. It didn't... Did it do anything? Oh, used trap. Essence of death. Ooh. What's going on below here? I don't know. Hospital records. Want to read that first? Oh. Okay. Medical record of patient number 71. The patient has contracted dysentery. There is no hope for him now. I had him isolated and ordered that prayers be said for him. I also increased the dosages of his herbs. They seem to have some healing properties, but also incidentally... Loosen tongues? Oh, uh... This might be the guy that we just fought, the Wraith? Hospital records, all the pages have been removed. Only the cover remains. I see. Number 71. Hey. Hello? Oh god, no! I didn't sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. They needn't have done it. Those here were innocents. And I... Did they burn down the hospital? I'm not about to play with fire. Seven. Involuntary cramps of the facial muscles. It's St. Vitus syndrome. He's dribbling. He's dangerous. Lock him up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, am I? Uh, I'm hallucinating or something. Oh, I really don't... Oh, God. Oh. Hit me anyway. That wraith. Damn monsters. This one. These are patients. I find that monsters seem to know how to dodge my strong strike. Probably because that one takes longer, so it's easier for them to dodge, I guess. Crap. Oh! The back! Oh! 
My health. My health. Uh, uh, essence of death. Blood, blood. Where's it all from? Must clean it. To the bone. To the stone. Is it mine? Hospital I'm files. Not. Clean it. Robust cutlass. That's better than the one I have. Yeah. Okay. It's my new sword now. Robust cutlass. Okay. Hospital files. Patient number 14. The woman manifests strong symptoms of schizophrenia. To avoid marring her beauty, I decided to not employ the standard therapy, the red hot circlet. That sounds painful. But instead, to increase her herb dosages. As she was prone to having fits of aggression, I have had the patient chained. The pictures she has painted on the walls should be analyzed. Can we see that here? Pictures on the walls. Chains. Oh, 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 that rat scared me. Oh, we can't dawdle. We have a swallow potion. Oh, there we go. I'm in pain. Words on the walls. Help! Give me some medicine! They deserve to suffer! You're not talking about the people in, in the hospital, right? I'll You're talking you. about the people Help. who burned down Give the place? Don't come any closer! Uh. The floor. It's moved. It's creeping towards me. There's a lot. Hey, hey, you're real! Lee, Lee, leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. Go away! We should just knock this guy out, okay? <laughs> knock him out and bring him out of here. Go away! Ugh. Ugh. Ah! Ah! You can say that again. These are not... Even if this place wasn't burnt down, it looks more like a prison no than a way. hospital. Here? Ah, ah, ah. Not today! Take that. Oh! What did I... Get out of here, please! Just die! It worked. Brute force worked. Just hit him. Just hit him. It doesn't matter. Okay. Really? Medicine. Medication. Let's go, buddy. You don't want me to go away? What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story? There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. When we get out. <sighs> Please. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. 
At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Edom. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. Oh, the Nilf Guardian ghost. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. But when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet, and willing. Wow. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her, and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance, it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilf Guardian's corpse. Go away! The Nilf Guardian ghost. Right here. They're winged helmets. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! If if that's what you want, I got more important things to look at. Oh. 